Hello everybody. Well, I still haven't got my iPhone app approval, so I've done what I said I would do, and that is I'm just going to film the um, emulator on the Mac. So, as you can see, the game looks very different because we've had um, these extra days to massively improve the graphics. Um, Rookage, as you can see, has done a, a fantastic job of um, really making the game look um, very professional, and with this extra time, we're um, really putting a lot of new features and as you can see above um, with his head there the exclamation mark appears and that means that he's got something to say so I don't really want to spoil the, the, any of the plot of the game or reveal any of the, the puzzles um, but if there's something um, to read about the exclamation mark appear above his head and if you click him he'll um, say what he has to say um, and the same thing applies to talking to characters, for example, um, through this room in the Henge, there's the knight there, and if you walk up to him, um, it appears, and it means he's got something to say. Another thing is objects. To pick objects up, you can see here, there's a pick. If you click on it, um, you pick it up and it appears up here in your in inventory, and you can use any of those items by clicking on them. So we'll walk along here. And I'll show you the use of one item, which is an early puzzle in the game. Um, the room you can see here is, um, this is a good example of the extra time we've had to improve the graphics. What I've put on the website is the original version of this room and the room the way it looks now. So, if we click on the um, pick here, um, Sorry about the font, we're in the middle of changing the font, so um, the font's a bit messed up right now, but we're going to use our own font. Um, so you can break that down and then, so he's got something to say there, but I won't, again, I won't reveal it um, to spoil anything. Um, we come in here and then you can talk to the witch as well, and there's a pot of honey there that the bees dropped, um, and the temple and you've got energy up here and lives so as you can see the game is substantially different the last time you saw it and I must apologize for not posting any um, footage of it it's simply the situation of not being able to approve the apps um, really sort of messed a lot up and held us back big time but things are moving ahead now um, we, we're very happy with we're gonna go for the full the full commercial treatment on the game I think you'll agree it's looking really nice. Um, so we'll try and keep you updated with more videos now and um, I'm going to try and get um, a hacked build of the game tonight to run on the iPhone. Mostly so I can give a copy to Ruckage who's um, been struggling as well with not being able to see the, the full game. So basically the, the, um, the tip on Getting, if you want to make an iPhone app, um, even if you're just considering the possibility of making an iPhone app, get in and try and get um, your app approval as soon as possible because it's been a bit of a nightmare for us. But as you can see, we're getting on with the emulator. Um, and I hope you like the looks of the game and um, can see the, the advantages of giving ourselves some extra time. that We've really improved it. I'm still thoroughly enjoying making the game and um, could can't show you as much as I want to because it obviously will spoil it. The, the sort of the the kind of game it is if we reveal too many rooms um but it, it's a really good fun adventure game and um I th you, you really enjoy it with we're putting a lot more rooms and a lot more puzzles into it in this extra time so um once it's finished it, it, it i think it'll be sort of a unique game on the iphone is that we've um designed all around the iphone's controls there's it's there's never any moments like on these platforms, for example, here you can um, if you sort of don't quite get it right, it'll correct it. Like if you walk off um, a little bit too early and you would sort of land a bit too low, it'll sort of give you the benefit of the doubt and put you on the platform. So there's no bits where just because the, the touch screen was a bit sort of inefficient or anything like that, that you'll miss out. Right. Anyway. I'm going to post this video. I hope you've enjoyed looking at it and I hope you'll keep reading the blog and I hope you'll want to get the game when we've finished it.